How does hackering test work? If you're preparing for a coding interview or applying for a developer role, you might have come across HackerRank tests. Let's break down how these tests work to help you understand what to expect. First, HackerRank is a platform that companies use to assess the coding skills of potential employees. When you receive an invitation for a HackerRank test, it means the hiring company has designed an assessment to evaluate your skills for a specific job role. To start the test, you need to log in using your HackerRank community user account or the credentials provided by the hiring company. Make sure you use a recommended browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Edge to ensure a smooth experience. It's also crucial to have a stable internet connection and power supply to avoid any interruptions during the test. Once you're logged in, you'll see the types of questions included in the test. These can range from coding challenges to multiple chase questions, sentence completion, and even subjective questions that requiring you to define flow diagrams or provide detailed answers. The questions are tailored to the role you've applied for, so if you're applying for a front-end developer position, you can expect questions related to front-end software development using frameworks like Angular or React. Now, let's talk about how your answers are evaluated. For coding questions, your solutions are typically evaluated automatically. The system runs your code against a set of predefined test cases to check if it produces the expected output. You're assigned scores based on the number of test cases your solution passes. For example, if your code successfully executes all the test cases, you'll get the full score for that question. For other types of questions, like multiple chase or sentence completion, the evaluation is also often automated. However, questions that requiring subjective answers or the creation of flow diagrams are usually reviewed manually by evaluators. These evaluators assign scores based on the quality and correctness of your responses. It's important to note that each programming language has its own time and memory limits for code execution. If your code doesn't execute and return an output within the set time limit, you'll get a terminated due to timeout error. This can happen if your code is inefficient, has infinite loops, or other issues that cause it to exceed the time limit. After completing the test, the hiring company owns your test reports and decides whether to share the results with you. HackerRank itself does not send any test reports to candidates. In summary, HackerRank tests are designed to assess your coding skills through various types of questions, with automatic and manual evaluation methods. Ensuring you have the right environment and understanding the evaluation process can help you prepare better and perform well in these tests.